Well, good morning, South Mississippi. A busy stretch of I-110 in Biloxi will not be back open for a while. And that is causing many to change their route to work and just to get around town. Bill Snyder is live with the latest on what's happening. Good morning, Bill. Hey, good morning, Jamie. I guess some have changed their route, but others haven't. You remember about 20 minutes ago, the brake light started at the foot of the bridge. Now, as you can see, traffic is backing up as expected. Now, the standstill begins on the other side of the Rodriguez Street exit, and you give it 10 more minutes, and it'll be all the way back to I-10. You can see for yourself, this is going to be a daily occurrence, unfortunately, with those trying to get to the peninsula, to Keesler and other areas in Biloxi. So what do you do? Well, you pack your patience or try to find another route. That would be going over the Pops Ferry Bridge, but of course that's two lanes. And that already backs up on a normal day, so you've got that. So do you try Fort Bayou going through there, but then you've got St. Martin School traffic, Ocean Springs traffic, or what about Cowell and the rain? That's always a busy corridor as well. So getting south until they're able to fix those columns on the I-110 bridge south of Bayview is going to be a major undertaking, as you can see right here. Now, we'll come back this way one more time. You see this Diaberville police officer there with his lights just letting people know to try to slow down because that merge there going south onto the bridge can be problematic. It's one of those where you're heading in and you've got to turn all the way around and some people don't get over and that's a whole different kettle of fish as they say. So you see the backups? It's happening as we predicted. So you try to find another route or you try to make your timing a little better because otherwise you're going to get stuck in this if you're heading south. Of course, you have to get off at Bayview. Here in D'Aberville, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now.